Hello everybody, this is Chosen here. I am doing the sort of look at the game called Warframe. Warframe is a free online cooperative multiplayer game and basically you just go around and go slash around people and it's mostly a campaign sort of dealio. I don't know if there's any multiplayer as of yet. I've only been playing like the the missions and the fun stuff. And it's preferred to play with other people. Playing it by yourself is really difficult, but it's still really fun. But if you want to play online at all, then you bash in 711 and just message me or something to play. Um, this game is available on Steam for zero dollars. That's right, it is an open beta and it is zero dollars. It's fantastic we fun. So we're gonna select Mars and there are all these locations that are in the orbit of Mars. I don't think we can go down to the planet or these are on the planet, I'm not too sure. But I'm going to select this one, which is a uh, it's a mission that you can get every once in a while for like a certain amount of time, I think. And when you select it you get launched to the place and you are required to do a mission for the Lotus and the Tenno Legion sort of dealio. I don't know if they're like the Tenno Legion or something like ninjas. The Grenier has been harvesting a nearby planetoid for weapons grade material. Locate and destroy their mining equipment. The uh, missions in the game are really really basic, but you can go around and open up these uh, crates and get stuff. Uh, I don't know if I got anything like that, but usually it says on the top of the screen, like, or next to your person, like, or the bottom of the screen, it's just credits. Um, you can, as you play through the game, you'll be like level 6 to acquire certain modifications to your person. And in the top right hand corner, there's the blue, which are the shields, and the red, which is your health. There's the green meter bar, which is just your strength, and the blue meter bar, which is your abilities, your, uh, or your mana. It does not regenerate over time, but as you defeat enemies, it will regenerate. Then there's the white bar, that's affinity. I think that as that fills up, you get ability. Once it fills up, you get the uh, blue mana stuff. Then there's the four slots, which is one, two, three, and four. You, as you level up, you can, uh, equal to your mod to your level you can have a certain level of a mod my level is eight and I have two mods installed I can't have four because uh, I'm not a high enough level and I can't hold enough now the the game is really fun it's very very sleek and the controls are really really simple and it just feels amazing and as you you can sprint with the shift key, jump with the space key. As you do higher jumps, you can like do a barrel roll and be like, oh, I saved my fall, so I don't think there any, there's any fall damage. I haven't experienced any at least. Then if you sprint, you can crouch and do like a slide. But you can't do it like infinitely. Hold on, I was just failing at it. But you can like go down and then you can like crouch around and be like, I'm sneaky. And, oh, it's broken. So, I think we should just come back down there or something, I don't know. Um, as you go through the game, you level up and you acquire these things called mods. Now, mods are entirely what you think they are. They're either abilities or you can just attach them. Nobody knows you're on this vessel. Ooh, yeah, there's no one on here. No, there's, there's people on here, but... Um, when you get modifications for your weapons, you can either have them do more damage, reload faster, or something else. But for your person, you can get like health upgrades. But there's also abilities you can find throughout the game. And I uh, one that's placed on my one key is my quick attack or my like a uh, sprint ability, which allows me to run up and slash someone. But I'm just gonna sneak up on this guy. Oh, there's two guys. Um, I can kill one. Oh. He didn't see me. Oh, yeah, he did see me. Oh well. That was fail attempt but it's being sneaky. You press 1, and you can run really fast and kill the amount of enemies that are within your range. Now, when you press an ability, it uses your ability up from the top right, but since I killed two enemies, it revealed 
Now, the second ability I have is like a super jump, so I can press 3 and I jump really high. This allows me to maneuver through places a lot easier than other people. And first thing I should have explained is you can have uh, multiple blasts. There's like 9 or 10 of them. Oh wow, I didn't think you could do that. Uh, nope. I just did an air dodge, but so I guess you can like jump up and like press control and you do like an air dodge thing. Press F to switch your weapons. I'm not MLG Pro at this yet, so yeah, I, I died. But I've tried recording this earlier and it failed terribly. Um, you get these things, I don't know what they're called, but you can like revive yourself and you get four of them per day. You can either forfeit, which instantaneously ends the mission, or you can revive, which revives you obviously, and it gives you a temporary vulnerability. But this game is definitely not easy by yourself, but it's best to play it with your friends. Ooh, no, I don't want to be near that. It's really weird playing with my playing over the other shoulder, but you can do that, which is really useful. If you need to go look through over another direction. But I do prefer to be looking all over one direction than the other. Since I am right-handed, I think it's weird to be looking over the left shoulder. So as you complete levels and you destroy enemies and find people and do cool stuff, your weapons level up over time as long as you can. As they level up, you can add more modifications to your guns, and they will be better in every single way possible. So, all the time they will level up, so there's no time where they will not level up. I mean, if you don't play the game, obviously they won't level up, but... Ooh, this guy was in the butt last time. He's got a lot of shields. Oh wow, that lag. Oh, it's a homing missile. I thought it was like extremely slow, so I didn't really confuse. Oh wow, my frames are dropping. But I am running this on the maximum graphics. Oh, he's not dead. Now he's dead. At 687, I think that was total life. The yellow numbers are criticals. Headshots obviously do more damage than other ones, so you will get crits on them most, most of the time. I don't really go around and break all the crates and stuff. You get credits, but if you're just playing free and you don't buy like the platinum, you don't get uh, a whole lot of stuff. And I only bought the other thing that I thought was interesting, which was dual pistols, so I can be like, Ugh. Slice them in half. But this game is really fun. I love it. It's an open beta, so it's not out yet. But I don't know if it's ever going to be like full-fledged game they have to buy. But it might turn out to be so. It's on version 7, I believe. And it's crazy. I'm just gonna play this for a little longer and just show you what's some cool stuff and probably until I die because these levels are definitely difficult playing them by yourself. But the voice acting is okay. I don't like it that there's like one character that mainly talks and that's Lotus, which is the lady that tells you what to do. But she does repeat herself a lot in this game. I wouldn't play this game forever though. But I would I would play until I like complete everything, but then I probably wouldn't do much anymore. Unless they add like some cool new thing that makes it amazing. Heads up. A grenade assault team is headed your way. And she says stuff like that all the time and it gets really irritating. But uh, not all, but I didn't. And it's really easy to fall, so I really don't like things like ooh, I hate those things. 
putted through like one of the rolling balls, and what they do is that they're really hard to shoot because they're really small, and they land on you, and they explode, they're like stink grenades, but they don't do a whole ton of damage, they usually just take out your shields. These guys, the yellow ones, are really like that monster in that field. Yeah, lockdown. So as if someone sees you and like, hey, I don't want to be in this fight, they will go make the ship go and lock it. So you go over here, hack security. And you want to make the shape, the lines match up. And then when intrusion is potential, they're like, oh no, we got to time. We're free to proceed. Wow, that was a failure man, on my part. I think this game is based off the game Dark Sector that was released in 2007. It looked really decent, and it's about uh, Hayden Tenno, it's basically like infected with some super virus. I don't know why none of those shots hit him. Although the AI in this game is really repetitive and like the same thing. It'd be like to butt you with your gun shoot at you and it's just really irritating for some players because it's just like, uh, why can't I hit him? But then you just have to, it's, you want to be quick and decisive with your attacks, you don't want to be doing the same thing over and over again, that's where mistakes are made. But the power attack is definitely good. So I am level 8, I will be leveling up soon hopefully. But there's also another thing I forgot to mention. As you complete levels, you get bonus experience. So it's they, there. Also, is you also get credits which you can spend to buy weapons or free buys if you have enough of them. And you can buy uh, ammo because you do have to buy an ammo. That's definitely a thing. It makes total sense. I don't know why these guys drop credits. Now I have to blow these things up. It takes forever. Kill this guy first. Oh wow, what? Oh, there's a game glitch or something. Oh, I'm not going up there. You don't say, there's a lot of them. And the Grenier are like the main enemies, like human militarized empire. What is that? That was weird. Learn a new thing every day. I think I like teleport or something, I don't know. Never done that before. Yeah, I'm at low life. Like two. Probably gonna die here. Yeah. I don't know why that keeps happening, but I'll probably figure it out later. But that's it for me guys. Hope this was fun for you to watch. I will see you all later another day.